So I'm gonna pick back up on this Honda here and see if we can see what's wrong with his engine, if it's repairable or not. Got the handle tied down. You can't pull this rope at all. It's just absolutely stuck. So let's take the cover off and start checking some things out here. So I got the cover off this engine. I got the gas tank tilted. There's nothing wrong with the starter on here. So that is not a problem with this Honda. And I cannot move this engine at all. It is frozen up. So let's check some of the cabling and stuff on here. I loosened the magneto here just to make sure that was not holding the flywheel and it's not. I'm going to remove these bolts off the overhead valve cover here and just look inside this engine here. So I got the last bolt to release here. So let's take this valve cover off together here. It's kind of dry in there. It's not dirty. It's sludged up. That's what the valves look like inside here over the overhead valve. I'm going to try to turn this with my wrench here, which appears I can. Take the spark plug out. And the spark plug looks okay. It was actually a little bit loose in there. I'll put a straw in this spark plug hole and see if the piston's moving when I turn this. Well, the valves are moving. I'm not sure you can see that. It's very tight to turn. Let's see if they put a straw in here. Find a piston here, and the straw is going down, so the piston's moving. It's just very tight to turn over. There it is, straw is coming up. It's going to spray. So I'm wondering if this thing is just slow, low on oil. It didn't register that we just need to put oil in here, but this engine may be damaged. So this dipstick had nothing on it when I first got it. This engine was totally frozen, but I've since filled it up with oil. Let's put some 30 weight in here. And it has been spinning it around and it's getting easier now. I think I'm going to put my drill on here and just rotate it around a little more. The engine's not seized. I think they just ran it out of oil, but will it ever run again? So this engine has slowly gotten more... So I can really turn this engine now. You can hear the compression too. There it goes. I got my finger in the hole. Pretty much can turn it very easy with my hand now too. So we now have oil on the dipstick which is a great thing for an engine which I don't believe this had any in it. I'm going to reassemble this since it's turning much easier now by hand. Piston's moving up and down, the valves are moving up and down and see if we maybe can get this started back up. And I can pull the rope now. Let's see if I can check for spark on here. Let's see if we can do a quick spark test here. I actually saw it. Let's see if I can show it as well. There it is. Not sure if you can see that, but All right, the Honda is back together. Got the valve cover on, spark plug back in. 
we have compression and spark. I'm gonna leave that decorative cover off for now and see if we can give this its first start here after putting oil back in the engine. We have a choke here. So here we go. Make sure the gas is on. Just kick back. Started. And cut off. Try it again here. back to life. I'm not sure the blade is turning on it. Honda lives after a seized up engine. And listen how good it runs. up engine and the blade is working on it now too the blade engagement Thank you. 